I had to uh, lock my phone to get across, so it reset the video. So it's gonna be a little introduction video there, and then this, but yeah, basically, I came across the two culverts over there feed into one spot. That one feeds into one. That one's completely clogged, and then these two are this spot. And I crossed right there. That is not where you want to fall in. That water's several inches deep, and when you get over there, it's actually rather deep. Uh, yeah, not where you want to fall in. Oh, and here we are up on top. So, came from over there. You can get a much better view of how this bridge looks from over here. So, you got Dead Man's Cave right there in the background. That's a little walkway that you walk across. Uh, people have sat up there before. You used to be able to climb up right there. There's a gate over here that you could go around if you wanted to. Uh, but yeah, it basically there's signs over there that say like, you know, no climbing on the bridge. Violators would be prosecuted, stuff like that. So we've got this railroad bridge here. I remember before this was actually like this. It was just uh, like a regular wood slat bridge, I believe. Uh, I think these culverts are and everything are all actually pretty new. But look at the graffiti, that's cool. I have no issue with, well, some people might have an issue with that one. I have no issue with most uh, graffiti that you see as long as it's done well. Like that one's pretty good, I can do that. Here's one of the old uh, telegraph poles. You leave a lot of these here, and sometimes you'll see random telegraph pieces on the ground and stuff like that. You can still see there's some uh, of the little ceramic attachment uh, insulators up there. I believe that's so you don't get blasted through the pole. Like when you're on the ground. Or like if it's raining or something like that. It's raining and you touch the pole. And it doesn't have a ceramic insulator and you just get blasted. All of these train tracks are cut. Like out of the out of the rock here. And they work their way down. As well as the uh the canal, which you can see down there. Um I believe at this point this would not have been. Uh no, this still might have been underwater. Because I, I believe there's that, that Lincoln statue way back there I showed in uh, the other video. And they said the water would have been to like the top of his head. So these tracks could have been under some water too. So it could have actually gone up to there. I feel like that's kind of wide though. Because if you see it's down there, I would expect it more to come to here. Some around here. And then... Because it goes down there, and it's like, goes over and then goes up the other side, much like down there did, by, the, by lock one. So, the, the spillway area for lock two is much more clarified, and so we'll see that when we get up there. Here's a spot where you could see through, that's the canal down there. Sounds like I hear a waterfall or something. Oh look, somebody took the cover off the manhole. That's... Yeah, that's way down there. I'm not holding my phone over that. I wonder if they know. I should maybe inform them. Oh. I'm gonna see if I can figure out who's in charge of this land down here and see if they know the manhole cover's been pulled off. So, let's see here. All right, I'm still looking to make sure I don't miss it. It's like kind of like, you know, a little alcove thing you gotta go into. And 
it's hard to see. I don't know if they keep that thing clear. Like it's, it's not maintained at all. So you pretty much have the choice of uh, going in it. There's the canal right there. Uh, or you can easily miss it. I think it's up here a little bit though. Up here in one of these areas. Oh, and here's another one of those telegraph poles. Uh, that top piece is not pointing that way. If it looks like it, it, it's just, it's pointing the same way as these ones. It's just hanging down on the end. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only one for a while. See all these logs and stuff. Let's see if we can see anything cool. That's old railroad tie. That's old railroad tie. There's a piece of old railroad tie. Those are old railroad ties. Uh, do we got any spikes? I don't see any spikes. Those are harder to find. People have probably picked most of those out. Uh, sometimes you find under the telegraph poles, so you'll find ceramic insulators and stuff sitting on the ground. Those probably have been picked through as well. As you can see, we got a lot more uh, old railroad tie here, probably. 50, 100 years old. Ah, this is getting close to where I want to be. We got this little alcove here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hello. Uh, swans, maybe? I, I'm not sure what those were. Uh, yeah, you could probably take a canoe down here. Maybe. At like this time of year. Let's walk this path here a little ways. Ow, that's a stick to the eye. Something's like blue over here. Well, the lock is farther down this way. This is not the way I'm going to get there. But just a nice scenic view here. All these logs and trees that fall down. They just let them wash down. They eventually will come out of here and end up in the... Uh, Illinois Ship and Sanitary. And then it goes to the other side of the Ship and Sanitary and continues. So, so the uh, canal was in service in the 1850s or something like that. And they had the railroad tracks here too. So they ran side by side. And they hadn't built the ship of sanitary until, I don't know, 19, 1910, 1920, somewhere in there. I, I'll have to get that information to, uh, you know, make sure I give you the accurate information. But I'll, I'll research that here soon. I've looked it up before. I just don't remember. Uh, and then pretty much after that, they just let the canal go. So it sat dilapidated for a while. Uh, like I said before in one of the videos, part of the... Uh, I-55 of the Stevenson, I believe is what it was, was built on the corridor of the corridor of the I&M Canal. So we got these spots, you know, down here that are flowing decently well, but it's not that deep because of that. So it made the, the overall depth of the canal shallower. Otherwise, it would have been much its original size. So, let's see here. Making sure I don't miss it. Uh, so they were the two main, like, hubs for industrialization down here in this area. And in fact, if you continue on this way, a little past Lock 3, you get to, uh, Joliet Ironworks. I am not sure that I feel like walking that far. That is a bit of a distance. I think that's the edge of the lock right there. I gotta figure out how to get in there. Is that the edge of the lock? Maybe. I hear the waterfall. Uh, I'm gonna pause and figure this out and then come back to you guys. Yes, I was right. Here we are. There's a lot of water, so this might be slightly difficult to show. A bunch of poison ivy, that's nice. We got uh, this here, as you can see. This is lock two. The um, 
bricks are not as well maintained as lock one because lock one's an actual like one of the historical sites for Lockport. Let's see if I can get down here without getting soaked. All right, we can get out on this shale piece. This is about the best I can do. Got some water running through here. Well, actually, got a lot of water running through here. And you can see that. Actually, they have done main... main oh. Thanks, Metra. They have done some repair here on the bottom. So th those are a bunch of like gnats right there on the screen. There are like a swarm of like thousands of gnats right here in front of me. No, don't come by me. Go somewhere else. Oh, there they are. What? So the lock goes here. Um, I'm not walking out on that because it's probably really slippery. Let's see. This isn't too bad. Uh, but as you can see, we got some rocks here that they painted yellow. I don't know if that's like, they're flagging them for something. I think my feet were starting to get wet there. But, uh, so we got that. It's a little harder to get up there, but we'll see what I can do. But the other alternate spillway would be, I believe, I believe some of this is actually filled in a little bit. But I believe it was this corridor here. You can take this and follow it all the way to the other side. So I just came up right there. The lock being the other side of this. The path I came from is over there. I came this way up here. Around. A lot of flowers. And then here. I've been down here before. It's nice. Uh, let me see if I can get down here without spilling my drink all over myself. We got a nice, whoa, wall here. There we go. So we got some nice wall here. Uh, you can see some of the rock and stuff has fallen out over the years, but overall really good construction. It'll probably be here for another hundred years with very minimal maintenance. It's wet down there. It's never been wet down there when I got, when I came here. It was either, this pathway was either where the water went through or where like the mules went through. Let's see if this is deep. Very soupy. Oh, let's see. Whoa. All right, so I'm not going that way. Uh, I'll come back and explore this part when it's drier sometime, but you can see it goes down there. Uh, let's see if I can get up here. I might pause. Luckily in this area, you don't really have to worry about snakes. At least I've never seen any venomous snakes get closer to here and not fall in so we got this this would be where the one gate went as you can see there's a decent drop right there and it goes down there and it's super deep I would guess so let me see if I can get to the other side and show some more I'm pausing again